first of all, congratulations. Big night for you last night, obviously being drafted by the Sens. Just tell yeah. us a little bit about your evening and how you were feeling. Yeah, I mean, uh, yesterday was an incredible moment for me and my family. Uh, it's hard to really explain. It's still a little bit of a shock, but uh, no, I'm very excited and very happy to be a part of the Sens, Sens organization, and I can't wait for uh, the future for sure. And I know you've had, you know, been talking to a lot of the teams over the last year or so. Uh, did you have a good feeling that the Sens was the place you were going to land, or were you a little bit unsure still last night? I mean, you really never know with the draft, but, uh, you know, I think I had a, a good few talks with uh, with uh, the staff members over there, and I think uh, going into the draft, I was they were definitely one of the teams I was hoping to get drafted by, and uh, I was really excited and really happy, and it's, uh, it's close to home, so uh, definitely overall good, overall good feeling for me and my family. And you joined the team, obviously, as a free agent. You really kind of came into your own last year, especially during the second half of the season. Uh, skills were really noticing you at the end of last year, but you also had a few games this year to kind of show them a little bit extra of what you were doing over the summer. So just maybe tell fans a little bit about kind of what you worked on and, and how you took advantage of these few games this year. To... Yeah, I mean, uh, this summer, a big focus for me was just gaining strength, gaining weight and uh, focusing on my foot speed and, uh, you know, getting faster on the ice for this season. And, um, I worked uh, really hard. It was uh, practicing every day uh, in the gym, on the ice, uh, five times a week, six times a week. And uh, I think all that work, uh, you know, kind of paid off with this uh, with this draft. And, um, you know, I think I can't wait for the season to get really rolling. Uh, I know it's only been a couple of games, but uh, no, uh, you know, we have a we have a young team and I can't wait for uh, for the season to get going. And tell us a little bit about your night last night. Where were you? Who were you with? Did you have your family on the phone since you couldn't be next to them? <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was at my billet's house. Um, my family couldn't be here because of COVID, but uh, um, I was on Zoom with them. So uh, overall, it was still a great moment. You know, uh, celebrated a lot with my billets and uh, had a few hugs and a few, uh, few tears from the parents. But uh, overall, I think uh, it was still a great moment, even though uh, my, my parents weren't here. And then what's the message overall? I'm sure you talked to a few of the staff last night from the Sens. What's the message to you for this season and kind of the next steps for you with them moving forward? Honestly, uh, they told me to just play my game, uh, not put any pressure on myself and, uh, you know, be a leader on this team. And we have a young team and uh, the staff members know that. So, uh, yeah, they said to just play my game, um, keep creating offense and, uh, you know, be that kind of go-to guy for this team this year. Awesome. Congratulations, Phil. Yeah, thank you very much, guys.